Aki gogo wa loru ko loru wa laye. Ase gadura wipe. Pe ati jose fon loru lode. Ibu kon loru ga ugo loru ko jesu yo nje ikmi aye wa. Lati ijo wa. Ijo awe ni yon bimo. Ti yo tere. All Saints Anglican Church. O tere. Ati akwa kwa gogo wa wan lufa. Ni adikiri. Ni ajo dari si to ni. Awo bere isi. Ni ba ti awo ko ori ni we ori bimo. In 568.
Almighty Father, we thank you for your faithfulness upon us. Blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. As we go into this study, Father, come and be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Inspire us with divine wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sub team, attribute of Jesus Christ. The topic we shall be looking at today is omniscience. Omniscience. And the text is taken from Matthew chapter 9, verse 4 to 5. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, the Wherefore think ye evil in your heart? For whether it is easier to say, Thy sins is forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. The aim of this study is to discover the mysteries and magnitude of the knowledge of Jesus and to experience the acknowledgement of Jesus' omnipotence science by his followers. Omniscience is a theological term that refers to God's superior universal knowledge and wisdom. God knows everything from eternity past to eternity future simultaneously without consulting anyone for knowledge or understanding. Psalm 100 and 39 verse 1 to 6. The text today revealed Jesus Christ as omniscience. This study shall further show how the disciples acknowledged the omniscience of Jesus Christ. There are questions here before us. But we, before we go to question one, let us consider these Bible passages Matthew chapter 10 verse 30. Matthew chapter 10 verse 30. Matthew 10 30. But the very ears of your head are all numbered. The question is, explain the word omniscience and what we mean when we say God is omniscience. When we say God is omniscience, God knows every, every man in this world, because he's the one that created the man on the earth. He knows the beginning of every one of us and the end. Question two. How did Jesus manifest the omniscience of God on earth? How Jesus manifests the omniscience of God on earth by, make, by telling people what is in their, uh, their thoughts. Jesus knows what they are thinking, and he said they don't say it out, but Jesus himself knows that this is what is in their mind. This is the thought they have in them. And the, the people are marvel that he knows even before they speak out. That is the um, science of God that Jesus proved to them in that chapter. Question three. What are the mysteries and magnitude of the omniscience of Jesus? John chapter 4, verse 16 to 19. According to that passage, we discover that Jesus was able to tell the woman her past, her present, and her future, what is going to happen to her in later day. Through this, we can see the mysteries and magnitude of omniscience of Jesus. And the woman said, I perceive you are a prophet because that cannot be done by ordinary man it's beyond human comprehension praise the Lord question 4 in what way did the early apostle acknowledge the omniscience of Jesus Christ John chapter 16 verse 30 now we are sure that you know all things and have no need that anyone should question you. By this we believe that you came forth from God. And in that out of our person also we can say that 
Jesus Christ in that place, at least the, he sent the Spirit, and we can see that through the Spirit of God, the early apostle acknowledging the omni signs of God, that God is God. And you can't query God because when Jesus Christ is with the disciples, he taught them and they experience the power of God through him. And when Christ also left them, he promised them that they should wait because the Spirit of God will come upon them. And all this thing manifests in the life of the apostles. So they have full experience of God that truly this God is God. No controversy. Conclusion. No human being on earth had ever displayed the omniscience of God as our Lord Jesus Christ who knows all things from the beginning of the age to the end of the age. To him we should commit our soul and spirit. Food for thought. The thought of Judas Iscariot were never hidden from Jesus Christ. Memory verse. John chapter 16, verse 30. Please say after me. Now we are sure that you know all things and have no need that anyone should question you. By this we believe that you came forth from God. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we bless your holy name because you are so faithful to us. Blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you grant us the enablement to do in accordance to your scripture in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for more wisdom and understanding. Father, do it for us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come, seek the Lord why he may be found. Call upon him why he is nearer. Beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God and to the whole company of heaven to offer unto him through our Lord Jesus Christ our worship and praise and thanksgiving to make confession of our sins to pray for others as well as for ourselves that we may know more truly the greatness of God's love and so forth in our lives, the fruit of his grace, and to ask on behalf of all men such things as where be doth require. Wherefore, let us lean in silence and remember God's presence with us now. Together you will say after me, O God our Father, we have sinned against thee in thought, in word, and deed. We have not loved thee with all our hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Have mercy upon us, we beseech thee. Clean us from all our sins. And help us to overcome our fault. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of His grace, mercy, has promised forgiveness of sin to all them that with heart repentance and true faith to turn to Him, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. 
and bring you to everlasting life Amen. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord's prayer. Who else is in heaven? High not be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive all our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, open thou our lips. O oh God, make me to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is now. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm. Psalm 141. We shall read it responsively. Lord, I cry unto thee. Make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Let the righteous spite me. It shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil. We shall not break my head. For yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. Our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth, as when one cutted and cleaved wood upon the head. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and the chains of the workers of iniquities. the word of God as it is written the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew chapter 12 beginning at verse 31 wherefore I say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men and whosoever speaketh against word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. He that make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by its fruit. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good tree, a good man out of the good treasure 
of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy word thou shalt be justified, and by thy word thou shalt be condemned. This is the word of God. But I will call in the room. I'm three hundred and twenty eight. Father, we thank you 
for the privilege given unto us this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the life given unto us. Accept our praises, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that as we go into your word, speak to us this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you make your word to have a meaning in our lives. Baba, do so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We welcome all of us once again to this service. And it's our prayer that God, in infinite mercy, will bless us greatly this morning in the name of Jesus. The topic before us today, parental responsibility. We will emphasize on avoiding negative conversion. And our test is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 4 from verse 19 to 22. 1 Samuel chapter 4 beginning from verse 19. Now his daughter Elo, Phineas' wife, was with child due to be delivered. And when she heard the news that the ark of God was captured, and that her father Elo and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and gave birth. For a labor pain came upon her. And about that time of her death, the woman who stood by her said unto her, Do not fear, for you have born a son. But she did not answer, nor did he regard it. Then she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory has departed from Israel, because the hack of God has been captured, and because of our father Eno and our husband. And she said, The glory has departed from Israel, for the ark of God has been captured. Dear people of God, we are living in the negative world. Negative around us. Everything around us is something that can make someone at least to say something that is not good. But as a Christian, we need to understand the word of God, not to lose focus not to lose the promise of God upon our lives. So we need to prophesy something good to ourselves, even to our children, not to cause them or to do anything otherwise that will ruin the future of our children. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. The Bible said, Death and life are in the power of tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That is to say that in any utterance we made either for death or for life. Which means we need to prophesy something good to ourselves not something that will cause us pain or something that will bring calamity to our lives. Because we can see from our test that woman, you can see the way because of the situation of Israel at that time, this woman 
lost faith and named the child Ichabod because she believed that there is no way for Israel. Lost all. But as people of God, we must know that any situation in which we are passing through is for a moment because God is there to intervene. But this woman thought that there is no way. This woman thought that the glory has departed from Israel because of her and her father-in-law, Eli, and her husband. Let me say to us today, as parents, many of us, we are making the same mistake. Even when people are naming their child, you just see them because of what they are passing through. They just give any name to their children. They just name them. They don't care about the meaning of their name. I want to charge us today that before we name our child, we need to think twice and to pray fervently so that we give them the name that we speak better future. Dear people of God, what we are saying today is that we need to examine ourselves the way we make negative conversion. Because when you think evil thing against your life, it may come to pass. Because that is why the Bible said in that proverb that in our utterance, death and life. It depends on the one you choose for your life. And we can see that in the scripture we have the example even in the, the book of Numbers. We can see that when Moses sent 12 men to go and examine that land, the promised land, they're about to enter. And these people came back, given, confessing different words from their mouth. Ten among them said, no, we can't take that land. And you see only two of them, Caleb and Joshua. These people believe in God and said, no, that land is our. God is there. God will fight the battle. Let's move. And God paid them according to their entrance. We see in the scripture, Jabez in the Bible, in 4 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, Jabez called upon the Lord because he knew that the name given to him, there is trouble. The name given to him, there is cause. And he called upon the Lord, said, Lord, ah, deliver me. Lord, where are your face? And you can see that God intervened and delivered him. And I declare today that as many that are troubled because of evil conversation, evil declaration, God will in you today in the name of Jesus. People of God, we need to move closer to God. If you move closer to God, you will be able to enjoy God. In Psalm read in this service, Psalm 141, verse 2 and 3, that Psalm is praying that, Lord, help me, O Lord, to control my mouth. So we need to control the statement coming from our mouth. Even to our children, to our wife, even to our husband. When you prophesy the promise of God, He will surely establish it. And I declare, as you have a good thought concerning yourself, concerning your children, God will establish them in the name of Jesus. And I pray that evil word, evil conversation, evil conversion will not overrule our life in the name of Jesus. Anywhere we miss it, I pray that God will put us right this morning in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you because you are the King of glory. We thank you, Lord, for your word that you sent to us. We know that you are the only one that can teach us a right. Baba, we pray as parents, as individuals, teach us a right, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give us the grace, Father, to alter, Lord, positive word from our mouth to our children, Lord, to our spouse, to our business, to our home, to our family, in the name of Jesus. Every negative thought, Lord, we pray today, destroy them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.
Ejeka je won ti to igbagbo wa. Mo gba Olorun Baba Olodumare bo. Eleda oro won aye. Mo gba Jesus Christ bo. Omo re kan soso Oluwa wa. Eni ti a fi emi mo loyun. Eni ti a bi ninu Maria Wudia. Eni ti o jiya lowo Portugal tu. Eni ti a kan mo agbelebu. Eni ti o ku ti a sisin. O so kale re koku ni ijo keta o to jinde kuro ninu oku o re oke orun o si joko ni owo otun olorun baba olodumare ni be ni yo ti wa se idajo aye o oku mo gba eni mimo gbo ijo catholic mimo idapo awon eniyan mimo idari ti ese ajinde ara ni sa oku ati iye ti ko ni pekun a ki oluwa ki o pelu yin je ki agbadura Oluwa sha anu fun wa Oluwa sha anu fun wa adura Oluwa ni a bowo fun oruko re bi ijoba arede ife tire ni ki a se le aye bi won ti se le orun fun wa le o je ojo wa loni dari ese je wa diwa bi ati dari ese je awon ti o se wa ma fa wa sinu idewo sugbon gba wa lowo obili si amen Oluwa fi anu re han fun wa Oluwa da oba si ki o ti fi anu wa fun wa Oluwa da awon eniyan re si fun wa ali alaafia ni igba ti wa Oluwa so kan wa di mimo ninu wa olorun adura ojo isin mi kerin leyin meta lokan olorun ala bo gogo awon ti o gbekele o lai si eni ti o nkan ko li agbara o nkan ko se mimo je ki anu re si wa di pupo ki o si ma bi si ma se alakoso ati amona wa ki awa ki o le la ohun igba isin si yi koja be amen ni keyin ki a ma se padanu ohun wa eni pekun ki eyi fun wa baba orun nitori jesu christi oluwa wa amen adura fun alaafia olorun eni ti se olori sun alaafia ti olufe re po mimo eni ti se iya eni pekun ati sisin eni ti se omirira ni ton da bobo wa awa ori pa mo mo odo re ni gbogbo ikolu awon o ta wa ki awa eni ti gbekele abo re gidigidi ma beru agbara o ta kota nitori agbara jesu christi oluwa wa amen adura fun ore ofe oluwa baba wa tin be le orun olodumare ati ayiraye olorun eni ti o mu wa de owuro ojo oni ile alaafia ki agbara re nla da bobo wa amen ninu re na ki o si fi fun wa ki a ma subu sinu ese loni ki a ma si sure wo inu ewukewu sugbon ki gbogbo sise wa ki o le ma ti odo re la lesese wa ki a le se eyi ti o to le oju re ni gba gbogbo nitori jesu christi oluwa wa amen adura fun akoko yi olorun olodumare ninu ibinu re eni ti o ran arun sara awon eniyan tire le ageju Nitori iso te won si Mose ati si Aaroni ati pelu ni igba Davidi oba ti o si ti ajakale arun pa egba marun di logoji eniyan sugbon ti o ranti aanu re ti o si da awon iyoku si se iyonu si awa o to se elese ti a n fi arun lati ku bewo nisisi yi pe bi o ti gba etutu ni gba na ti o si pase fun angeli apanirun ni lati dawo ibaniwi duro be ni ki o si ki o si wo nisisi yi lati la buburu yi seyin kuro lara wa nitori jesu christi oluwa wa amen olorun olodumare eni ti o ti fun wa ni ore ofe nisisi lati bi okan kan wa ipepe lodo re o si se ile ri pe nigbati eni meji tabi meta ba ko ara won jo li oruko re o fi ibere won fun won oluwa mo yi fe inu ati ibere awa mo odo re ki o se nisisi yi ni o ti le gbe fun won julo ma fi mo otito re fun wa le aye yi 
ati ile aye tin bo iye ai ni pe kan amen eje ka jumo se ore ofe ore ofe jesus christi oluwa wa ati ife olorun ati idapo ti emi mo ti o ma ba gogo wa gbe titi lai lai amen it is time to give an offering to the lord and our thanks i want to employ all of us the people at all that you need to transfer your tithes to your church and as we do so god will bless every one of us quickly in the name of jesus <laughs> Father, we thank you because of the King of Glory. We thank you, Lord, for your provision upon our lives. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, particularly for us to take our time before you. Lord, we pray that you satisfy this time, Lord, in the name of Jesus. As we thank you, Lord, that brought this offering unto you, we pray in the course of this new month and this new week, Lord, multiply them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, for as many that transfer their tithes and their offering to their different churches, Lord, we pray that we increase them, O oh God, mightily in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We pray, Holy Father, that none of them, O oh God, will miss good deeds in the course of this year in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yeah. Use this offering, O Lord, to your own glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's service. We appreciate your goodness upon us. I set our praise, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that as we go in the course of this new week, Father, go before us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Increase every one of us, O God, in every area of our lives, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The peace of God, my understanding, keep your heart and mind in knowledge and love of God. And of the Son of Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to use this opportunity to appreciate our Father, the Nazar Bishop, for his grace given unto us in Otere, Adikiri, particularly to conduct this service at All Saints Anglican Church in Kerebu, Otere. We pray that God will continue to give him grace to lead us aright in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And we pray for the thousands of people that we continue to experience God's goodness in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I want to really appreciate all the clergy in the Adikiri for the support. And I pray that God Almighty will see us through in the name of Jesus. Ori yeah. in we know we only were in three sixty.
Oh, 